Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. Yes. So today we've got a 20 minute full body at home workout for you guys and no equipment is necessary. Right, we're going to be doing 10 moves two times through. We're going to go for 45 seconds on with 15 second rests. So you can do this with or without shoes, just make sure you've got a soft surface. We will also be offering up some modifications if you want to make this workout low impact. Yes. We're going to be working upper body and lower body with some cardio bursts in between. While Aaron gets the timer going, I am going to say this is a family friendly, at home friendly workout. We've got Max right here next to us, so if you see some toys flying, you know that's why. Let's go. First move is jump squat. You're gonna squat down, jumping up. If you wanna keep this low impact, you can simply squat down, come up to tiptoes. Here we go. Making sure to sit back into those heels, keeping that core tight. We've got 45 seconds here. Exhale on that jump up. This is a burner for sure. Erin is the pro. I'm going to do my best to keep up with her. I notice we do different hand swings. All right, guys. Whatever Great job. Works, whatever works for you. <laughs> Our next move is going to be a push up with shoulder taps. Again, follow me for modifications. Yes. Coming down to the mat. Hands directly under the shoulders. We're gonna tap opposite shoulders each time. And of course, modification would be come down to your knees. You can still do that same shoulder tap from this position. And Left. if you wanna make it harder, you can do just push-ups as well. Or maybe you want to stay in plank and just do shoulder taps. Whatever works for you. This is all about the chest here. Great job. Quick break. Our next move, we're going to come back up. We're going to be doing eight punches and then eight high knees and then going back to the same. All right, we're in the sumo squat. We're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Modification. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five. Whew. Good. That was our cardio burst, if you didn't notice. <laughs> our next move is going to be a squat lunge combo. This one is tricky. Yep, it's going to be tough for me. <laughs> I think I might modify this one. We're gonna go squat, jump for that lunge, squat, other leg forward. You can follow Dusty and just step it out. It is still gonna burn up those quads. We're working extremely large muscle groups here. That means your heart rate is gonna ramp up you're going to be torching lots of calories. Woo. Sometimes I got to modify too. We're almost there. Nice job. I find that focusing on the muscle actually helps to feel that burn. Definitely. We're going to go back into plank. We're going to come down to forearm plank. Here we go. Leading with that opposite forearm each time. This time right arm down, left arm. Left arm up. Lead with left arm down first. 
third arm. Left arm. Really focus on keeping that core tight, keeping your booty out of the air. You want to be in one nice, long, straight line. Planks, planks are full body. Oh. Intense. Coming back up, we're going to do pop jacks. You want to show these quick? Yep. All we're going to do is jump down, up like Legs this. Spread. Legs spread when we jump up. Make sure in that squat, again, you're sitting back into those heels. Keeping that core tight as you pop up. We're popping up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale all the way up. Burner. Nice job. Next up, we're going to be doing a sit-up with leg reaches. Mm. We're going to come out, full body, straight out, arms overhead, legs out. We're going to reach it forward, tapping the feet, back out. Exhale when you crunch up. Modification would be to make the move a little bit smaller. So we're just crunching up. You should definitely feel. Ooh. Ooh, really. really knit that roof cage. Keep that core super tight and strong here. Good. Good job. First round done? Not quite. Oh. Now we've got burpees with eight floor joggers. So we're going to come down into that plank position again, jogging the knees. Down to burpee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jump up, back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Modification, take out that jump. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo -woo. We're almost there. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Stay in two there, more. guys. Now we've got pop squats. We've got yeah. two more. So we had pop jacks. Now we got pop squats. Yep. So we're going to be going down into a burpee again for these, popping up into a squat. Modification would be to step it back, step it up, come up into that squat. Step it back, step it up. Come into that squat. Oh, thanks, Max. <laughs> Great job. All right, one move left in this round. That's a killer. We're going to come down to a plank position. We're going to cross the knees, the opposite shoulders, and then we're going to work the obliques. <laughs> Follow me. Here we go. So we're going to cross our right knee to the opposite elbow, left knee to opposite, and then we're going to hit those outers. Right knee. Left. Knee. 
Right. So this is really going to twist and work those obliques. Also working our shoulders and chest here again. Again, making sure to keep that booty out of the air. One nice flat line. Pretend like you've got a glass of wine on your back. You're trying to remain as stable as possible. Woo! Great job. One more round to go. This round is done. Max is helping. <laughs> yes, boy. We're gonna head right back to those jump squats. Here we go. If you want to modify, take out the jump. Go up to the tiptoes. Keeping your core knitted, nice and tight. Sinking into those heels on that squat. Don't forget to smile. When you feel the pain, it can help if you can crack a smile. <laughs> I need that. Yes. Woo. Good job. Back to those push-ups with the shoulder taps. Woo. These work. I'll tell you what. I think I might have to go on my knees for this one. Yep. I don't know if I can hang. Down and shoulder. Hold it. Down and shoulder. Back. Shoulder. Down. Really focus on being explosive when you push up off of the mat. Okay, I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> I need to break. I can officially see sweat on the mat. <laughs> All right, number three. Coming back up, back to those eight punches with the eight high knees. There we go. If you don't want to do high knees, like I said, you can just raise each knee up. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ooh, that is not easy. You're killing me, babe. Killing me. All right. Is this a hit workout, would you say? Yeah. Definitely. We're going to go into that squat lunge combo. Again, try those modifications if you're feeling a little bit winded. Winded. Squat in the back. And squat other side. Check in with your core again. I only keep reminding you guys because I'm actually reminding myself. It's the one thing I constantly need to remind myself of. All of our strength, all of our breath comes from the core. Balance everything. Great job. All right, we're gonna come back down to that forearm plank. It's getting hot in here. It is getting hot. Take it down to the mat. Where do we start, left or right? Let's start with our right forearm going to the mat. Left. Right arm pushing right. up. Now left arm down. Left. Left arm up. Left. 
Right down. Right. right. So we're coming up on the hand we just left on, correct? Yes. I find that having something like this to really focus your brain on helps you to focus less on the pain that you're in. <laughs> yep. We are so close, we're halfway done. Okay, back up, we're gonna do those pop jacks again. So, just as a reminder, you can either jump or just come to tiptoes. Who would have thought a couple's workout would be this fun? I'm having a ball. It's painful. Our pain is good. Max was being so noisy, but I think we're kind of weirding him out a little bit. He's like, you know what is going on? <laughs> Whew. Burnt. We're so close. Woo -woo. Coming down to the mat, take a quick rest. We're gonna go into those sit-up leg reaches. Again, it might be time for you to take that modified version. Yep. That smaller crunch. But I challenge you to try incorporating your full body if you can. Stretching all the way out. Even if you have to go slower, you'll get a better workout. With a longer movement. Right. Feel that burn. Ooh. Exhale on that way up. Killer. Burn. Burn. All right, we're gonna come back up and right back down again because we're going into burpees with those eight floor joggers. These are killer. Uh. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up. Take out the jump if you're modifying. Back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The one thing about home workouts is low ceilings. Yeah. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Jump without your hands up. I think I already broke a nail on the ceiling. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Focus on having good form. More so than doing it quick. Woo! And if you're hyper mobile like I am, try not to lock out your joints. That's yeah. my biggest struggle, especially with planks. Cool. What's next? We have got another round of those pop squats. Yep. So pop squats. Here we go. We're gonna go down, popping up into that squat. Pop up. Focus on that pop and hold it for just a second before you go back down. And if you want to modify, step it. I see the light. <laughs> Getting close. Ooh. These are getting tough. Ooh. We've got one move left. Mine are starting to look sloppy. We're going down into that plank. Yeah. Those alternating knee moves. Yep. Twisting to opposite elbows. And then to the same elbow. Yeah. Here we go. Crossing to left, crossing to right. Outside, right, outside. outside. Inside, inside, outside, outside. 
Woo. You feel these. Totally. Max feels them for us. See, 20 minutes is about the right time before your little ones start to go a little crazy themselves. <laughs> at which point, I would suggest following this up with a nice walk in nature. Yes. <laughs> How about that? Oh, Mr. Man. Woo! Woo! Let's get it on. All right, you guys. This is it. 